Okay. The um, these are this is my movie list that I would want you guys to see in 2D in the VR space, watching in your VR headsets. Watch these 2D movies. The first one is Brainstorm. That was Natalie Wood's last movie. It is what VR was to me whenever I was 13, before I even knew what VR was. And I saw this movie and I was like, wow, this is amazing. Um, wouldn't this be good, great? Wouldn't that be grand? And every time I watch it, uh, now I watch it, I go, it's here. It isn't mind reading. It isn't recording your memories and playing them back on someone else. But how much different is this VR technology? How how much different is it? Uh, I can kiss you in in three D space, and um, and you can almost smell my cologne. You you would imagine there would be cologne on me because anybody get get to you that close your brain fills in with what the brain expects and is that to smell perfume or cologne that's or the sweet smell of a person coming close to you that is what your brain fills in with and people will say that experiencing vr they'll say i just smell, i just touched you and they don't understand how that could happen with vr and it's because your brain uh, expects it it expects things, and it, it's being fooled. And um, and until you get the VR and experience that, it's not gonna, you're not going to understand it. Now, what I did, um, okay, let me get back to the movies. Brainstorm, first movie you want to see. Another one, Dark City. Uh, Dark City, particularly if you um, if you want to understand Microsoft, Dark City, um, they changed it all around. It's all about you think you're in one place and they get you in another. Um, Dark City. Brainstorm. Uh, maybe Longmore Man, I don't know. Um, Matrix for sure. Um, I like Dune. But Dune has nothing to do with this. Uh, what would be good? Good movies. Oh, you know, Buckaroo Banzai for the uh, uh, multiple dimensions. It's entertaining. I don't. Um, but it, there's no VR in it. Um, yeah, and oh, pl Ready Player One came out. That's a good example. What's in Ready Player One is here already. Um, Spielberg must have, when he when he was involved with that, he must have said, uh, "This is it. Um, it's already here. People need to know it." And um, and they're going to draw draw some idea of what it's going to be like. I need to be there first to present that to them before this takes on. Uh, it takes in it comes into its own, and it is. It's that's what's happening right now. Um, so, oh, what I'm doing professionally, uh, I'm a backer for Kroger. Uh, <laughs> I got a computer science degree and a minor in art. I'm a backer for Kroger. Uh, I won't describe why the, this, why it's this way. Um, it isn't because I'm just a really poor programmer. I'm not. I programmed this site called Channel Z. Um, it's on the, if you go into the web page, you type c3z.me, um, you will find my site. And uh, so that's c3z.me. And I like to think that says, says me, says me. So you can come to says me, which is channelz.com. Uh, and uh, you will find um, my, my, Programming, what I do programming wise. It's a YouTube mashup. It uh, it turns YouTube into television. And and the reason why I created it is because I was sick of going to YouTube 
to try to find video content and it telling me what I thought, what it thought I had wanted to see. And when I went into playlist, having it watch the playlist from the beginning or having to thumb through the playlist to find the stuff that I wanted to see. And I came to the realization that I don't know what I want to see. I want to, I want my MTV. Whatever happened to my MTV? So I said, I'm going to resurrect first year MTV. And this is it, Channel Z. It's a reference to a B-52 song, Channel Z. Gotta get away from Channel Z. But rather, it's gotta get to Channel Z here. Um, so Channel Z is a, it is the new MTV. Um, it is the new, it, nobody will ever understand it until you experience it. That's what VR is like. And so Channel Z really belongs in VR too. Um, if we're going to watch 2D content, we're going to watch, um, we're going to be in an environment of perpetual content, um, just as TV presents us. But we are TV, and that is Channel Z. You are me, and we are all together. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Um, Two turntables and a microphone just following cans, clap your hands, just clap your hands. Um, I got 70 songs memorized. I'm going to memorize all of Donald Fagan's The Night Flight. Um, because it's a fantastic album and it goes like this. Um, um, standing tough under stars and stripes, we can tell the streams in sight. We've got to admit at this time and point it is clear. The future looks bright on that uh, train of graphite and glitter under sea by rail. 90 minutes from New York to Paris on 76th, that'll be play okay. What a beautiful world this will be. What a glorious time to be free. What a beautiful world this will be. What a glorious time to be free. Um, get your ticket to that wheel in space while there's time. The fix is in. You'll, you, you've got to admit... Um, the fix is in the this fix is in you'll be a witness to the game of chance in the sky you know we've got to win here at home we'll play in the cities powered by the sun uh, perfect weather for a streamlined world there'll be spandex jackets one for everyone and what a beautiful world this will be. What a wonderful time to be free. What a beautiful world. What a glorious time to be free. Um, on that train of graphite and glitter, undersea by rail, 90 minutes from New York to Paris. More leisure time for artists everywhere. Just machines to make big decisions. Programmed by fellows with compassion and vision. We'll be clean when that their work is done. We'll be eternally free, as in eternally young. Ooh. That is VR. That's the future. That's VR. That's you. And this is me hitting the stop button.